It's come to my attention not all of y'all know that I have a cat named Tulip, so let me have her as my introduction this time. No singing bowl, but hey girl. Hello my beautiful Cancer, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, Cancer, because that is how I keep up with y'all is through the comments. As well, if you do enjoy this tarot reading today, honey, or you just enjoy my vibe, um, I would really appreciate it, Cancer, if you were to take the extra step to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help me out a lot and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to do that for me now cancer put this in perspective though honey i'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you right you know your situation better than i ever possibly could so take the tarot cards that resonate with you and leave what doesn't because i'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever i believe the tarot cards are just here cancer to give you some food for thought a perspective for you to consider but never making the choices in your life because it's your life to live cancer not mine and not these tarot cards right so with all that being said let's just jump into your reading this week now cancer uh i pulled an angel card for you angel oracle card and i don't know how to pronounce these angels names darling full transparency honey um <laughs> but this is an angel oracle deck and this deck in specific um i really like to put focus in the message on the artwork as well because with this is heavily involved and plus the card is just gorgeous honey so the angel that stepped forward was material the angel of rain uh so this is going to be a very cleansing week for you guys obviously uh because rain is just viewed to be extremely cleansing now i'm gonna just kind of be out of pocket cancer and just suggest to you if you um are in an are in an area where it's raining why don't you go out and just like i feel like it would be beneficial obviously where it wouldn't be it's beneficial for anybody at any point to um just stand out in the rain rain even if for a few minutes just to like incorporate that into some type of cleansing ritual for yourself if you do practice anything granted you don't have to practice anything <laughs> at all to um cleanse yourself honey but um this is this this is i'm getting this sense is a week of where you're releasing something actively cancer so uh let's dive into this deeper shall we let's see what's going on here let's see what detail we can get from this queen of swords all right i like to see this um queen of wands in the back of the deck as well so these two queens here cancer during this cleansing time it shows to me that you're getting some you're being inspired by uh what you want to be doing next right queen of swords is this card of where i feel like you're putting you are putting distance between you and a situation you and an environment that just probably wasn't feeling very good to you and that's why you were put into this queen of swords state and also why it's attached to like rain right the cle uh, cleansing period it also could signify of course as well cancer i mean this <laughs> like not to be corny and i'm not laughing just because i find it like funny funny but it's just like it could be a situation of where you're finding yourself crying this week week i feel like those would be more so like an energy where it's like behind closed doors queen of swords where it's like you really heard about a situation you're just like all right i need to check out of this and you were like holding your tears like i don't know i don't i guess that has no relevancy to the actual reading itself so we'll just like put that over there but that is something that i'm just like consistently like thinking about and now i'm just being shown so uh queen of wands though this is where it shows to me where it's like well, yes, you're putting distance between yourself and just probably just in a general sense, even. Um, you are, in this sense, I would kind of say trying to figure out and successfully figuring out cancer where you want to go with your life next. I really feel like this distance or like this, um, I won't be surprised essentially if we get like the hermit card cancer, where I feel like you're just really benefiting from this time of silence, this time of just releasing and cleansing, right? Let's pull two more cards. I'm seeing the number two to wrap up this message here. Ace of Pent or Ace of Swords inverted, as well as the Six of Cups inverted. So this is, of course, dealing with a situation where the Ace of Swords is connected to your Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Swords is connected to your uh, Six of Cups inverted. So we'll address this message first. Uh, cancer with the Queen of Swords and the Six of Cups dynamic being inverted. This is showing to me a situation, Cancer, of a, where, you know, the Six of Cups normally in the upright is a card of offering something. It is also a card that represents something that has a lot of history there. So I kind of like to see this as like a 
I feel I always most for the most part read the Six of Cups as like a historical card in the sense where it's like whatever the connection is there's some time here it's not just been like a month or two like you know there's some history behind all of this or so whatever it is you're putting distance to so it shows to me that there's something that you kind of had to leave in the past cancer and it was probably just a very sobering experience for you right um it feels like I like normally cancer when I see this queen of swords I'm kind of just like okay I feel always feel the need to chastise whoever gets that queen of swords because I'm just like all right it's fine to be putting up those boundaries honey right I'm not trying to uh shift that in you but tulips coming over and let me give a quick hi I don't say anything's bad with that but just be careful to not allow that to make you cynical right that's always just my concern with cancer is i don't want to see my my peeps to be cynical and so now connecting into this queen of wands with this ace of swords inverted she likes to always um sit like right next to me when i'm doing readings for the most part um so that's where she's like here i suppose now but queen of wands ace of swords inverted this is showing to me where it's like now cancer it's leading like at first i was just like okay like you're allowing this to motivate yourself uh cancer figuring out where you want to go next but then you have some doubts here cancer and with this ace of swords inverted in this dynamic it is where it's like almost like this insecurity for this flame so it's almost like i want to say cancer you acknowledge what you want to really do with your life and where what stuff you want to take next but then the ace of swords comes in where it's like you're having some doubts with yourself right it feels almost as if i mean some of y'all's vision could just feel as if it's clouded and that's why you don't know what to like i really do feel as if you could really benefit from having a cleansing experience like standing in the rain if it's excuse me if that's possible cancer i really do feel like if you haven't felt like you've been acting like yourself um to do like a cleansing ritual it doesn't have to involve rain but just cleansing in general let's do the number three for this i want to get a couple more a few more clarifiers for this ace of swords so three of cups the empress card and the justice card coming in for you justice card is the libra card as well as the empress um both these cards are the libra card <laughs> um so you could be normally i don't ever do this cancer but with this type of dynamic especially with the three of cups usually involves other energies um this shows to me like almost like i said you could be very easily doing this on the as uh, libra in their chart anyways though there's something that like you want to do but then this just shows to me like again like an insecurity or like the perception of others and how um it will be received right it's almost this sense here of where there's almost like this frustration from you cancer there's like this frustration of where how you're being perceived by something i feel and that's like because of this um, that somehow has this in impact in terms of like why you're having this insecurity in terms of this flame right here, whatever it is that you're feeling passionate about, because it's like, that's the thing that's holding you back that's keeping you small is like, um, either the perception of others or like what someone in like someone in your environment just isn't very supportive in that way. And I'll just leave it like that cancer, right? So now cancer tulips just sitting in my lap today honey i guess she's just feeling loving um though for the most part she always feels loving um but she's just making this a little bit harder honey uh so now cancer let's get into the messages from your spirit guides see what advice spirit has for you now this is always just for my people who are ready to hear the truth the hard truths right that tough love i'm not here to um tell you like we're not here honey to tell you what it is you want to hear if you want to hear something that you want to hear you can just ask siri darling so the strength card in the reverse some of you guys cancer are having a tough time tapping into finding a reason to push on finding reasons to keep going is a message that i'm hearing again i really want to push the narrative of you guys cancer of um doing some type of disconnect from your immediate space and being able to just be in a space where you can really feel your emotions, right? You know, when it's raining out, honey, you can cry all you want to because no one's going... All right, all right, Tula. Now you're being crazy, darling. Say goodbye, honey. 
<laughs> look at this face um you, yeah right as i said like you you can cry in the rain darling because no one notices that you're crying because you're in the rain um i feel like you guys cancer need to find your reason to keep going to push through um and i feel like partially the reason why you feel so hopeless right now and f having such a struggle finding reasons to push on is just because you haven't taken that time to just disconnect and just allow yourself to experience and feel the emotions that you have instead of like, like repressing them for whatever your reasonings are seeing the number three let's pull three cards so we have the eight of wands inverted the five of wands and the devil card Ugh. so <sighs> cancer there's some type of dynamic here there's some type of blockage that's happened what is my cat doing she's just being so relevant in y'all's reading cancer i don't know why um there's some type of dynamic that really i don't know if it's like your imposter syndrome i don't know if it's just like again like some type of like heavy energy that's around you that's just not supportive or just in general because like here's the thing let me just break these cards down themselves cancer devil card this could be signifying as like an actual person or a habit I, any any type of way you want to see this card as like a sabotaging energy for your well-being five of wands is the card of obstacles and conflict right so you can even imagine with these two cards together like this already it's kind of just like oh girl um and then the eight of wands coming in here inverted this shows to me where it's like this again like this sense of um insecurity of like your own self and that's why you don't want to push yourself out there to really be seen and really go go the mile essentially if that makes sense cancer so again i hate to be going back to this and maybe this is just a sign that i need to do like a video on imposter syndrome if you relate to this cancer let me know um i hate going back to it but this is giving me like a textbook like imposter syndrome if this is all dealing with the self because you already know i don't like to involve other energies or make it about other energies i like to make it about just you cancer because it is just about you and how you perceive things so um let's get a closing card for this energy here nine of swords here so yeah this is just showing to me where it's like until you have these lingering thoughts addressed cancer right i don't feel like you're able to move on right i feel like you need to really just have your moment to have your release with something i don't know like search for closure with whatever it is that's going on right this nine of swords here with these ravens going flocking around this represents like the thoughts that are keeping you up at night and just haunting you and i feel like that's yeah, I feel like you need to just have your time to experience the feelings that you're having rather than uh, consistently suppressing them. Uh, but that's just a hunch, Cancer. Don't shoot the messenger, darling. Let's now get into um, what are the good things in the works for my Cancers. Temperance card. So this is going to be, I always say this is probably like the card whenever I pull this gives gets me the most eye rolls. Don't think I don't notice, darling. I catch the vibe. Um, but this is my card of where it's just like patience, Cancer. Wait it out, right? We were just talking about with that strength card inverted where I was just like, all right, Cancer, um, you need to find your reason. You know, find your reason to keep going, right? Whatever that looks like for you. Um, so let's deep dive into this deeper. Why, why, like, what are you being patient for, darling? Let's do three. We have the hurt. <laughs> the hermit card darling come on now cancer we have the hermit card the king of wands as well as the four of pentacles inverted so this is a situation here where you're kind of being this is a message where it's like pulling out of something and you taking an active effort or an active step into pulling out or in a situation where you're putting act more energy into actively trying to put closure to a situation or actively trying to heal with whatever it looks like action looks like to you and how that is correlated with like um healing you in a sense i feel cancer um because the four of pentacles brings into this interesting dynamic of where it's like normally with this card in the upright this is a card of where you're investing energy into something you know kind of think about it like doing stocks investing stock into an energy or a situation um and because those four pentacles representing your energy and then when you have this inverted you're pulling out of those stocks because you're just yeah essentially and so pulling out of those stocks and then answering it with the hermit card where again this message is just going inwardly um and then we look at the king of wands here 
I don't know if this is like a call to action for you cancers or where it's just like you need to be the one you need to be the responsible one cancer and uh demanding that time for yourself or what this king there's this king of wands let's look into this why this king of wands here four of cups inverted so there's something that you've always just been waiting on the sidelines for right maybe you know just as like a silly example eight of pentacles came out too okay this shows me i need to continue on with the silly example there's this like i was thinking about the uh, actually the movie don't matter but it's basically like there's like a movie where it's like water being like i don't know something about being a water boy and um some, some of y'all might know it it's so vague though i barely remember it um and so it's like there's this water boy and this water boy always wanted to be on the football team but instead they just never bothered taking action towards actually going further than just being a water boy this is a message where it's like again cancer where it's like you need to push take action finally into no longer being just the water boy um continue pushing you know if you are already if you are already taking action cancer towards um evolving yourself from that water boy um then uh, stay the course, right, with that temperance card, naturally. All right, now, Cancer, let's tap into um, what is going to be going on for my Cancer's social situation. What is going on for their social, romantic, uh, platonic, family, friends, workplace, darling, all that stuff. What's the gossip going on? It's an upside down. What is the gossip going on for my Cancer's? We have the balsamic moon, time for healing. So this has been this consistent theme for you, Cancer, just healing. Some per Someone hurt you. Someone really hurt you or like disappointed you. Something really has just like not sit well with you, Cancer. So um, let's dive into this a little bit deeper, right? What is this person to you? Star card. So this is someone you cared about a lot um they you know perhaps i would even say their perception of you cancer you care about a lot you respect their views a lot you associated this person as perhaps like you know i don't like to identify people as soulmates and all that because it's not my business but um but you might personally associate it if you subscribe to those verbiages and those belief systems of like a twin flame or a soulmate being like you know just either way just the person that you really um thought was going to be for the long call for you you thought they were like meant to be doesn't have to be romantic again right you could be like your best friend um so what happened here the four of wands as well as the lover's card the four of wands being inverted so this is a situation of where someone's making a tough decision and realizing that this person anymore just is no longer conducive to for their future um what they at one point associated to be where it's just like because i do see on both sides like a situation where both sides wanted to go the long haul they saw a future together but for some reason it just fizzled out so um huh. this is interesting is this you cancer or is this the other person going on here i guess it's not my business to know darling right so how is this going to pan out for my cancers ace of pentacles coming in here so it's going to work out obviously i feel like my cancers know this that's always going to naturally work out in their favor right um cancer don't get in your head i feel like this is more so of a message of where it's like don't feel as if you're going to be alone for the rest of your life cancer you're not i promise you um this is really just a situation of just keep pushing through um, because your pot of gold is going to come. You're going to find someone that you, you are able to personally connect with on an even deeper level than now. And now, Cancer, let's see what's going on for your financial and work life this week. What is going on for your career, darling? What is going on for my Cancer is financial. New moon in Taurus, prosperity lies ahead. Come on now, darling. It's the best card to be getting. So in terms of your work life, in terms of your finances, things are on the up, on the on the rise, right? Um, something I want to just point out as well, because with the good things car, uh, met par portion of the reading, right? I did say um, with that temperance card waiting it out, your story gets better. So let's do two. We have the Six of Swords associated with the Page of Wands. So this is all associated with moving on. I don't know if you recently, Cancer, have moved on from jobs, changed jobs recently, or if you uh, recently decided to endeavor into like a new 
path of uh, how would we say just like a new stream of revenue or what have you, or a new passion. Um, Page of Wands represents a new beginning on something and a fresh start with something, but it's associated with the Six of Swords coming in here. So this prosperity only can come to you once you put distance from this old situation and welcome in new projects, welcome in new energies. Queen of Pentacles, so this is maybe your calling, this may be your sign for my Cancers that have been delving or deciding with the thought, dancing around rather, with the thought of being self-employed but this is regardless your your future is looking good darling knight of cups coming in here as well yeah this is going to be a prioritize this week i would say cancer in terms of um just putting distance from old situations don't cling on to old things um this week really just be focusing on what you're trying to build because that's what's going to really be profitable for you so now, Cancer, before I close out this weekly tarot reading for you, let's get, end this reading with a quote, darling. Y'all know, Cancer, I love my quotes, honey. So let's end this with a quote. We have here, there is a stream of love supporting my dreams, right? What a fabulous card to have right after I just suggested for my Cancers that we're deciding on um, trying to take more effort into being self-employed, more self-sufficient, right? I'll read it again. There is a stream of love supporting my dreams. So Cancer, that is the cards that I have for you. Take this quote with you for throughout this week keep reminding yourself that your dreams are not just something that you are that's like impossible to reach to you know everyone all all the dreams that you have you know you they want you want to have it seem like it's unrealistic right because if you could understand or if you could see easily how you're going to going to accomplish those dreams and how it's just easy said and done then you're not dreaming big enough cancer so it's a natural feeling to be having when you're just unsure Right, And you just need to remind yourself of the purpose of why it is that you're doing what it is that you're doing and trust in the process, Cancer. But that is the weekly tarot reading that I have for you, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed this uh, reading. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Uh, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, Cancer, my website is just simply Velka. I'll leave a link to it down in the description and comments pinned comments below, along with my social medias, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, everything, darling. It's just simply Velka. And yeah, Cancer, that is the reading that I have for you. If you have any friends that's into tarot, send them this link and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them as well. I love you so much, Cancer, and I hope I can connect with you in the near future. Bye.